allons faire du ski à Chamonix. What's up fellow citizens of the world, Jordan Patrick here and welcome to my channel. As I just mentioned, I'm in Chamonix and this is my first time skiing in France. I wasn't sure how much it was going to cost and so I was a little bit skeptic about coming to the French Alps. I mean, of course it's going to be expensive. I came for two days, it's my birthday weekend. So in this video, I'm going to break down how much I spent for skiing for two days here in France. So let's get started. On y va, c'est parti! For those of you who are new to my channel, here's a quick recap. I'm Jordan Patrick, French-American, now living in Paris after four years in Limoges, which is the French countryside. I started my channel during lockdown in 2020 to pass the time and fell in love with the creative process. I make videos on European and American travel, French culture, the ins and outs of life abroad, language learning, and the French citizenship process. Follow me on Instagram to check my stories to know when new videos are coming out on Sunday evenings and sit back and enjoy the production. So of course, the first cost is gonna be getting to Chamonix. So if you're going from Paris, you can take a train or a bus, but the most affordable way is actually by driving. I recommend taking blah blah car to split costs, or if you're four people and you have a car, it'll be about 30 euros a person for tolls and gas. So the next cost is gonna be rentals, and I rented my skis at Snell Sports in Chamonix for 59 euros for two days. So here I am skiing on the bunny slope because I'm only an amateur and I don't really know what I'm doing, but this is how you learn. So let's go. Not gonna lie, I was pretty new to ski, but it doesn't even matter because you're out there to have fun, you're out there to learn, and the only way that you can learn and get better is by practicing. Am I right? So the next cost and one of the more expensive ones are the lift tickets, and mine cost 110 euros for two days, but I had access to go to any mountain that I wanted in Chamonix, which was pretty cool. So yeah, I recommend getting that pass if you ski a lot. So the day is almost over. It is 3.30 p.m. And as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit darker, um, but I still have you know, a good 30 minutes to get down the hill. Um, I thought I would take just like a two minute break just to kind of clue you in on this amazing day. Um, we've been on the slopes since 9 a.m. this morning. I'm so freaking sore. <laughs> My poor legs. Mes jambes sont hyper couverture. Someone is talking to me. I don't know what, what he's doing over there. Tomorrow's my birthday. Ah, you know what? Oh my gosh. Tonight, we're going out to like a really fun place in Chamonix. Uh, we're gonna get some drinks. There's like a nice show. And it's called Jolie something. I can't wait to show you guys because it's gonna be something funny. I heard that it's uh, it's hilarious. It's so bad that it's good. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I gotta get down the hill before the sun goes down. And yeah, so time to get the show on the road. Surprise is that I'm only staying here for two days because I'm gonna take the night bus back to Paris. It's gonna be 40 euros. So, you know, it's not gonna be the most comfortable. It's gonna be about eight hours because I leave at midnight here. We'll get there around 8 a.m. But it's probably the cheapest option. You know, we'll see how comfortable it is. I think after a day of skiing tomorrow, I will be dead exhausted. And who knows, maybe I get to sleep the whole time. Kind of a party night tonight so let's go enjoy that and I'll show you how much I spend for a night out. I might need a little power nap beforehand just to have a little bit more energy. Definitely some coffee. We'll definitely be doing that. Yeah. Besides being on the mountain, this is the best feeling of the day. Oh my god. Let the feet breathe. Oh come on. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah. It wasn't that situation. 
Another day waking up in Chamonix and I thought I would give you a little tour of the place that my friend's staying at because she's staying right down the mountain that we've been skiing at. So it's really convenient for her. She can just walk outside and go straight up the lift. For us, it's, you know, quite a bit of a ways. It's like 30 minutes with a bus, not too bad. And where we've been staying with Olivia and some other friends, it's been in Chamonix Sud which is really nice because it's like very cool at night. You have restaurants, you have a lot of fun things to do, but there's no skiing nearby. You have to go a little bit of a ways. So yeah, this is my friend's place and let me give you a tour. As you can see here, the sleeping arrangements aren't ideal. It's mainly bunk beds and it was the same in our apartment as well. But these cabin styles are pretty cozy and they do offer more sleeping with the couches generally. Oh hello, I love walking by a good mirror and the kitchen is fully equipped and so yeah, there you have it. It even has a little balcony outside which is really nice for some fresh air and nice view. You can also put your ski and snowboard gear there. That's my skis, the red ones, the ones that I rented out and I have to give them back later today. So yep, that's a tour and my friends are back. Okay, bye! We are going up the mountain, we're going so high! Hello. You know Sarah from other videos. She's dying. <laughs> she better be on. <laughs> this has got to be for sure the highest mountain that I've ever skied on. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, it's been like 20 years since I went skiing last time. Woo, let's go, baby! Allons-y! <laughs> That was a great session today. Um, I was a little bit, like, a lot less scared, actually. Thank you, Sarah, because in the beginning, I fell a few times in the fresh powder, and I was just, like, really feeling down on myself. And then she's like, are you hurt? No? So get the fuck up! And I was like, you know what, Sarah? You have a great point. I also didn't want to start this new birthday year by being a quitter. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna keep up, keep going, and you know, I'm glad I did. So here's a recap of the total expenses it cost me to go skiing in Chamonix for two days. Came out to be about 400 euros, so I hope that that helps you know kind of the cost that goes into skiing in France. So thank you for watching, and if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for future videos to come about the French culture, French travel, uh, American culture, American travel, stay tuned for what's to come. So I'll see you in the next one. A la prochaine. Ciao, ciao for now. Uh, oh my god, it's like impossible to film up here. I'm so nervous of dropping my phone. Damn it. What is going on? Yeah. Uh.